In the last two videos, we have been talking about case control studies and cohort studies and while understanding, you would have noticed several key differences between the two. In this video, we will explore the eight key differences between these two types of studies and their application in dental research. Let's tabulate the difference for easy understanding. Firstly, it's differentiated based on the direction of the study. While a case control study is a backward study proceeding from disease to cause, a cohort study is a forward study proceeding from cause to disease. Though both test a hypothesis, a case control study is the first approach to test a hypothesis, while a cohort study is reserved for testing a precisely formulated hypothesis only. Thirdly, based on the number of subjects involved, which are fewer in case control compared to the large number in case of a cohort study, results are obtained very quickly in the case of a case control study, while a cohort study, as we know, observes subjects over a long period with periodic follow-ups and will yield results very late. Rare diseases can only be investigated using a case control study and not using a cohort study. Do you remember learning that a cohort study will provide accurate results regarding the incidence and risk estimation, whereas a case control study does not say anything about the incidence rates and only talks about the odds ratio? Well, this is another key difference between the two. Economically, case control is more feasible compared to the extremely expensive cohort study. Lastly, other than the disease selected for the study, case control will not give information about other diseases. A cohort study, on the other hand, can give information on more than one disease as we have already studied. To recap, let's try remembering the headings under which we can differentiate the two. First is the direction of the study. Second is based on the hypothesis. Third is based on the number of subjects needed in each study, followed by the time taken to get the results. We then talk about which study is suitable for rare diseases, followed by the types of analysis in each study. The seventh point is based on the economic factor and lastly, how many diseases can we get information about through each study. In summary, case control and cohort studies are both valuable study designs in public health dentistry research. While case control studies are useful for investigating the association between risk factors and specific diseases, Cohort studies are useful for investigating the relationship between risk factors and the incidence of a disease over time. By understanding the difference between these two studies, dental researchers can choose the most appropriate study design for their research questions and objectives. For more such videos, download our app and watch videos seamlessly and learn through visually engaging mind maps. We hope we made public health dentistry slightly better for you. Please like, Share and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next one.